welcome to a new juicy pick a card of course we are going to do another spicy one because i know y'all just love it so much so for today's topic is going to be specific we are going to take a look at your person's kinks and also your kinks so we are going to compare and to see if you both really are a match in the bedroom so of course as always listen to your own intuition use your heart your mind of course whenever you are listening to a tarot reading and if you would like to book a personal reading with me all of the complete information is in my website and also for my soulmate twin flame personal art commission that's also available all of that info is in my website and make sure that you also check out my handmade crystal jewelry okay so thank you so much for being here and let us start with today's pick a card so as always i have three different piles pile number one is the left picture pile number two is the middle picture and pile number three is the right picture so pile number one two three from left to right take your time to choose and when you are ready go ahead to the timestamp i provide down below in the description and also in the pin comments hello my amours and welcome to pile number one so this is the photo that uh, you have chosen for pile number one to confirm that this is your pile okay so first of all i am going to describe a little bit about you or your person so that you can further con uh, confirm that this really is for you okay so pile number one <clears throat> so about your person i think that this is somebody that dresses really casually most of the time they they do look good though okay your person they do look really good they know how to dress well but most of the time they're just chill casual maybe they are into sportswear or streetwear type of fashion style so this person has a healthy lifestyle either they're going on with their healthy diet or something or they just regularly go to the gym they're very very much into fitness yoga pilates and stuff like that and maybe that's also the same for you so this person loves music okay their love language is music so maybe you do share the the type of uh, music you know you know like basically the type of music a genre that you really like you do share it a lot with this person like you you share the same type of interest when it comes to music and i'm hearing a lot of pop or pop rock r&b and what else alternative rock and maybe for some of you edm or techno okay so your person i'm seeing that a lot of you you have dark hair and your person have dark hair but for some of you i see that you have light hair color but your person for most of you that i'm picking up they they do have dark hair colors so maybe they're like a brunette or they have really dark dirty blonde hair color or black hair color okay so i'm just going to pull one card to read about your person's zodiac sign and so you can really really confirm for the last time if pile number one really is your pile or not based on the descriptions and the signs that i've been giving to you so far so your person's zodiac sign or maybe 
the the type of element that they have in their entire astrological natal chart a lot of them would be air signs or air elements okay so that's gemini aquarius or libra so maybe this person's rising sign is a libra or maybe their moon sign is an aquarius for example okay so it doesn't have uh, to be based on their actual birth month so just pay attention to your person's entire astrological natal chart as well okay but i am picking up a lot of heavy air element or air signs okay so if you have been seeing a lot of signs from the universe such as the number 222 111 1111 777 666 and 888 then well, that's the confirmation. This is for you. Okay, pal number one. Okay, so with that being said, let's just get straight into the reading. So I'm going to show you on the screen right now of all the points exactly that we're going to talk about in this reading. So we are going to take a look at what is it about you that your person finds super attractive and what kind of desires you know what i mean that they really like and how do they see you right now in this very present moment and then for the extended reading explicit by the way 18 plus we're going to take a look at your person's true intention and feelings towards you their exact kings and your kings matchmaking so we're going to really see if y'all both really are a match in the bedroom and we're going to take a look at their exact sexual desires that they want to do to you their fantasies and all of that good juicy stuff and what will happen exactly if you both really do the do do the woohoo with each other for the very next time so we're going to dive into a lot of more predictions description explanation etc and you know me my 18 plus readings are super juicy hot piping tea okay so if you resonate a lot with your reading for pile number one and you want to get the extended reading you can take a look at the link down below alongside with the timestamp you can click on that link and it will take you to my website where you can purchase the extended reading video okay so thank you so so much okay so now let's do your reading pile number one what is it about you that they find super attractive physically okay right away the first thing i'm seeing is your lips okay you have a very unique shape of lips okay either you have like masculine pretty thin lips or you have super pouty type of lips or your upper lip is bigger than your lower lip okay and it could also be the type of lipstick that you you really like to wear so for some of you if you do wear makeup i'm guessing that you have this one particular color this one iconic lipstick color that you wear like daily like almost all the time that is your trademark color when it comes to your lipstick and your person really really likes that color on you and they do love the shape of your lips you know sometimes they imagine what it feels like to kiss those lips or maybe see those lips wrap around something you know wrap around their <laughs> popsicle if this is a guy that you're asking about you know what i mean you know youtube has changed its rules unfortunately since a couple of years ago so i gotta really be careful with some words i cannot say certain things in the most explicit way you get what i mean so yeah but the other thing that they really love about you physically is your chest okay 
and also your shoulder like your collarbone so maybe you have a tall slim neck or you have a like broad type of shoulders and something about your collarbone around that area it's just super sexy they really like it so if you especially if you are a woman and you have you know boobies of course they love it okay doesn't matter the size don't worry girl they really do like that <laughs> so if you have long hair and you pull up your hair or you tie your hair up into a ponytail or maybe something like a messy hair bun type of style they really like it they find it super sexy and sometimes they fantasize about kissing or maybe giving a bit of hickeys around your shoulder like on your neck or your collar bone okay so yeah this pretty you know this person is is pretty naughty <laughs> in their mind when it comes about you okay all right so we have the fool card we have the eight and seven of pentacles and so i am taking all of these cards in the upright position by the way if you ever wonder because i am putting the intention that i'm only going to pick it up in the upright position just in case you wonder okay now let's talk about what exactly the kind of desires the kind of you know fetishes and kings i suppose that they really like okay so i think that this person is pretty much dominant okay most of the time i think that they do like to be the more dominant one in the bedroom okay they do they like to have a bit of more control and of course remember it is all by consent okay remember number one key consent okay consent 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 so i think this person's quote desire that they really like it's like the type of Mm -hmm, fantasy that they oh like love it so much it really turns them on okay so what i'm seeing is that it's something about like teasing i think they, they like to tease a lot they like to be teased but they also like to tease they like to be seduced but they also like to seduce their partner okay so that's a very nice balance so far that i see so this person is really into foreplay okay this is the type of person that won't rush in the bedroom this is not the type of person that would just bam 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 and then okay that's it done mm, no honey no 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 they like to take their time to make you feel comfortable and safe and seduce you and you know tease you a little bit around and they also like to be teased in return so this is the type of person that don't mind taking the necessary time to make everything ready as in ready down there <laughs> you get what i mean this is not the person that wants to rush 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 and just like bang 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 you know no they're not that type of person so they're also fairly good in communication i guess so whatever it is that you want to try what you like what you don't like they really do appreciate an open honest communication because again remember it's all about consent and the right proper communication so let's take a look more into the cards so first of all we have the fool now the fool is a major arcana card and this is the very first card with the number zero in the major arcana uh, tarot cards okay so the fool is all about new things basically like in the basic 
nutshell way of explaining this card this is about new things new experience and stuff like that so i think that this is also the type of person that's not afraid to try out new things as long as you're okay with it you're comfortable with it and you are also curious okay they do like a little bit of experiment here and there so let's say you both are pretty curious about kinky stuff, okay, bondage or whatever. Let's say you are curious about that, but you're still not sure if you will entirely enjoy it or not. You're not sure if it's really going to be a thing, but you are curious. So <clears throat> this is the type of person that's totally okay to try out new things together with you as long you both are comfortable and talk about it clearly with each other but they will take baby steps along the way this is not the type of person that's like hey you know you told me the other day that you're curious about this and i'm also curious about that so let's just like bam 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 try it out like right away boom you know no they start it simple first okay first of all just let's do it simple take it slow and then if it really is our thing then we can increase the intensity okay <laughs> you get what i mean so this person is pretty patient i guess so when it comes to how they treat their sexual partner in the bedroom and of course we are talking about you is that this person really do enjoy foreplay like i mentioned before why because they really do like to take the time to explore your body okay they do like to explore your body inch by inch by the way they don't want to rush it and i think that they kind of have this thing of seeing you quote unquote ready down there and kind of like edging you a little bit if it comes to that point or they also like to get that edging for themselves i think for some of you for some of them this is kind of a thing <laughs> for this person okay and this is the type of person that values and prioritize their partner's pleasure and satisfaction. So I think that especially if this is someone that's very masculine or it is a guy that you're asking about, I think that this person is someone that prioritizes your own pleasure, your own satisfaction first more than themselves they don't have to reach to the peak you know <laughs> like they they won't ever like expect or force you to to have to make them reach that peak okay even if after the night you know after doing the woohoo thing they don't expect that it's your responsibility for them to reach their peak peak of course no it's all about the balance it's all about comfort it's all about safety and it is also about your own pleasure they just like it that way so i think so far pile number uh, one pile number one this person is is really good i think they're pretty much balanced you know when it comes to the bedroom of course i don't really see any red flags so far but i can already tell you for sure that in the extended reading it is going to be juicy though because i am picking up some specific visions and some you know specific stuff that i will tell you in an explicit way and it is going to be bomb <laughs> so now for the last part of this reading let's take a look at how do they really see you right now in this connection okay 
So if you enjoy this reading and you want to take a look at the extended reading, remember you can purchase with the link down below alongside with the timestamp that is in the description or in the pinned comments, okay? So let's take a look at how does your person see you right now. Oh, yeah, they are making the effort. Okay, so they do genuinely like you. Okay, but just remember there's a lot of you with different circumstances who's watching this video. You could be just friends with benefits with this person you could be dating with this person you could actually be asking about your own boyfriend girlfriend so that's up to you okay but i can definitely confirm you with these two cards that says make the effort and also stay optimistic about your love life so these two cards confirm that how your person sees you right now is definitely someone that's really really worth the time and the energy okay they do focus a lot into building a better space for this connection or this friendship or this relationship that they have with you they do genuinely want to make better efforts they do want to take action etc towards you and they really do enjoy spending time with you talking to you getting to know each other better and they do have a lot of positive high hopes for the future of this connection that they have with you. So they are very, very much in a stable and positive state. They do hope for the best, of course, and they are being very optimistic about this whole thing this connection with you so they obviously see you as someone really really important and special in their life not in any way this is the type of person that's flaky wishy-washy or playing games with you so as long as you state clearly and communicate well with this person exactly what you want this person is always up for that comfort uh, conversation they're always ready because again the ace of sword is is the card of clear honest direct communication this person is not afraid to have an open mature conversation which is really good especially with the seven and the eight of pentacles these two cards are about someone that's putting in the work putting in the investment and really really focusing on something that is actually valuable so that is how they see you and this connection that they have with you Okay, they really do see this as a valuable, wonderful friendship or relationship and they do want to keep doing better, basically. So, in the extended, okay, I will be using my lovely, lovely, the, <laughs> the, the most infamous card, okay, the Sexual Magic Tarot. And I also have a couple of notes over here with very specific explicit kings and fetishes so we are going to take a look at that so thank you so so much okay this is all that i have and don't forget to comment down below like share and subscribe and click the bell ring so you won't miss any new videos from me and follow my instagram for more i will be back i think you both really want to try this position like exactly this standing position where the guy is standing and holding you up and you wrap your hands and legs around him for support and with this type of you know standing position because it feels good it feels good for the guy because he really feels that warmth and texture right deep into your see like his thick is all the way in while as for you you do feel every inch inside of you feel full like you actually feel full inside and it's hitting you right in the spot and really really deep of course 
Hello, my amours, and welcome to pile number two. So this is the picture that you have chosen for number two. Just to confirm, you are picking the right pile. Okay, so to begin this reading, I am going to describe a little bit about your person and also about you so you can further confirm that this really is your pile. Okay, pile number two, obviously the color black and red is is a huge thing for both of y'all okay that's the first thing that i am seeing so yeah that could be your favorite color or their favorite color so what i am picking up for you pal number two is that your person has a very specific taste when it comes to aesthetic art movies books music as well and all of the sorts so anything that has to do with classical literature or classical romantic movies or stories and a bit of dark romance by the way or the type of movie or story that's kind of angsty or tragic but dark and beautiful and intense at the same time so you and your person definitely enjoy the type of art i guess like a form of art it could it could be anything like you know movies books music whatever something that's definitely passionate passionate intense like oh you know like fiery and definitely and also, I don't know why, but I'm picking up a vision of classical paintings, especially like religious paintings like archangels or angels and demons or a painting of heaven or a painting of hell. I don't know. That's so specific. I actually never channel that that type of message before so far but i saw that exactly in my vision so it must be something significant for you or your person so your person is definitely somebody that is into dark and romantic aesthetic when it comes to their fashion style and that could also be for you okay it could be casual could be maybe a bit of casual formal but yeah a lot of dark clothes like black dark red something romantic something a bit gothic maybe or maybe something just casual but monochromatic kind of Hmm, a little bit of that old money aesthetic type of thing that's like really trendy or viral right now, whatever, <laughs> you get what I mean? And also that femme fatale type of vibe, that dark feminine, sexy type of vibe, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card for your person's zodiac sign. So we're going to guess their zodiac sign, okay? I see that your person has a dark hair color or sometimes they color their hair or they have bleach hair. Either like, like the entire thing or maybe just a little bit like a part of their hair that they like to color or bleach. Some of them may wear glasses and a piece of jewelry. So if this is a guy that you're asking about, I think most of the time he likes to wear silver jewelry. As for you, I'm guessing that you either like silver or gold or both. Something simple, classy and elegant. Oh, the Ten of Swords. Okay, so air element. So maybe this person has a lot of air element in their zodiac signs, like their entire astrological natal chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be either their sun, rising, moon, Mars, Venus, whatever the case, okay? And that could also be you, by the way. 
Ooh, uh, pile number two. For some of you, you may have had a history with this person already, or maybe this is some type of personal issues or personal trauma that either you have or they have. I don't know, something a bit about daddy issues. <laughs> either one of you might have daddy issues, I'm just saying. So, so the, these are all the signs and the description I'm getting for you. Pal number two, now let's get into the reading. I am going to show you on the screen right now of all the points we're going to talk about so you know exactly what to expect. So we're going to see about what is it about you that they find super attractive? What kind of desires that they really, really like? You know what I mean? And how do they see you exactly right now in this present moment? Now, as for the extended reading video, explicit 18 plus by the way we're going to see about their true intention and feelings for you their kings and your king's match making so we're going to see if y'all both really is a match in the bedroom and their exact desires and fantasies that they really want to do that they actually want to do with you and also a prediction about what will happen exactly if you both really do the woohoo <laughs> together for the very next time. Okay, so it's going to be juicy, hot piping tea. You know me that I do my 8 and plus really spicy. So if you really resonate and enjoy today's reading and you want to get the extended, you can click on the link alongside with the timestamp down below. It will take you to my website and you can purchase the extended video over there. Okay, go ahead, check it in the description and also in the pinned comments. Okay, so pile number two, we're going to start with what is it about you that they find really attractive physically, okay? So, ooh, interesting, we got two major arcana cards at the same time, the strength and the high priestess. Oh, wow, this person really puts you up high on a pedestal. Oh, pile number two. I'm getting that this is the type of person that's kind of like worshipping you, to be honest. Okay, so physically speaking, what they find about you that's super attractive is your hair and your neck okay maybe you have long thick hair wavy curly hair and the way that you style your hair is really really beautiful especially when you put it up into a hair bun or like a ponytail or something or you style your hair all the way to one side of your shoulder and you're showing your neck you know that's like oh super freaking sexy they love it love it love it also, something about your scent, okay, your smell, like your perfume mixed with your body scent. Oh, let me tell you, pile number two, it really turns them on. So if you have a specific perfume, like a trademark perfume that you always wear, wear it, okay? In fact, I'm kind of <laughs> suggesting you to pick one perfume where you will always wear that perfume whenever you are with them. Only whenever you are with this person. So, you know, one of the major senses that human picks up and it really leaves on this strong impression about someone and it's like a really strong memory like a feeling it is the sense of smell so play around with that okay you got that power when it comes to perfume especially if it has a bit of vanilla okay you know you know the research says that vanilla actually is a trigger for pleasure you know what i mean Okay, so the other thing is your hands or your, like, arms. Maybe you have fit, like, athletic arms or you have long, slim fingers. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm just getting it. Okay, 
I think your person likes to fantasize about what it's like when you use your fingers, especially if you have like long nails or you use nail polish. Oh, maybe like red nail polish, something like that. Your person likes to fantasize about what it's like to <laughs> to see your fingers wrap around their stick you get what i mean if if this is a guy especially if you're asking about a guy then this guy definitely likes to fantasize a bit of that you know your fingers wrap around their popsicle and they also like to fantasize about you pleasuring yourself and they like to fantasize you with your own hands with your own fingers down there pleasuring yourself you get what i mean i think that's what i'm picking up oh my god okay so let's start with these cards specifically so the high priestess is a very very respected figure especially uh, someone that's feminine, defined feminine figure, feminine energy, and also a woman. Okay, the high priestess is considered as the sacred woman or the idea of the type of highly divinity, like highly divine figure, feminine figure that nobody can touch because she is so up high above she's literally on a pedestal and she's this symbolism of the perfect temple like the perfect i guess femininity you know so Basically, it is that idea of you holding yourself so up high with self-respect. You know your values, you know your worth, you know your qualities, and you are not going to lower your standard at all, not even a level down below. No, you're not lowering your standard at all and that exactly what makes you sexy and attractive so i really do think that this person respects you so so much kind of like worshiping you <laughs> i'm just saying so what kind of desires exactly that they really like okay the strength card mm, file number two you get the uh, submissive one okay this person is submissive or they can switch okay for some of them they can just switch no problems at all they have no issues with switching between being the dominant or the submissive one but okay what i'm getting is that when it comes to daily stuff like the the general dynamic of this relationship i think that your person is someone that's very protective and caring for you especially if this is someone that's very masculine or a man this guy is very protective about about you and they really want to provide for you they really want to take care and they want to do their best to provide a safe space for you but when it comes to the bedroom i think he really likes to be submissive like actually kneeling down kissing your foot like kissing your legs and kind of like your inner tie and kind of going down there between your legs you get what i mean i have to be careful though because youtube is not really that friendly anymore with very specific explicit words so again that will be on the extended reading so i feel like this person likes to be submissive where you just lead the way like actually ordering them around <laughs> i think they really enjoy 
the type of you know sexy time in the bedroom where you just tell them exactly what to do what you want what you like what you want to try this person is just like yeah sure and that is because they feel that you are this super duper powerful divine feminine figure that's able to tame the wild beasts you know the animalistic part (laughs) inside of them but once you let them let their own beasts out inside of them like oh my god a girl be careful though they won't hold it back and remember this is all by consent of course obviously duh consent 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 is number one okay don't ever forget that consensual is always number one but yeah i think this person really likes to be submissive but once you give them the permission for them to like you you know you you get what i mean to really just let the freaking monster out oh my gosh this person can be quite fiery in a dominant way i think and this person is very straight to the point i gotta say they don't beat around the bush they say what they really want to say and they effing mean it like i like i said they're straightforward so if you ask them about something if you ask any any questions or if you ask them about something that's you know kind of uh, woohoo sexy time what kind of fetish you like blah 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 blah. what kind of fantasies do you like if you ever ask them those questions a best belief they will tell you exactly what it is full on in details they're not going to hold back okay so that's quite interesting (laughs) okay so let me pull out some more cards and see what we have oh the star what the f did i just say you really are on a pedestal and this person really sees you as the star out of all the entire cards in the tarot deck the highest position card is obviously the star higher than the moon and the sun the star is the ultimate like you're a star baby you know so the way that this person sees you right now is like literally their wish fulfillment i don't know how else to say it but you really are this person's wish fulfillment so we are going to see more about how do they really see you exactly right now in this connection together and just keep in mind there's a lot of you who's watching this video with different circumstances with your person so i don't know if you're dating with this person or you're still just getting to know each other or you are in a relationship already that's up to you that is watching this video okay so let me pull out some romantic angel oracle cards okay and again if you resonate with this reading so far and you really really enjoy it and want to get the extended video you can go ahead click the link down below okay alongside with the timestamp it's in the description and also in the pinned comments and let me tell you i know a hundred thousand (laughs) percent that this person has a lot of intense passionate fiery fantasies about you and they do have quite a bit of um dark kings i guess and very specific ones i can already see that i i just know i just know that the extent reading will be spicy like piping hot so yeah okay yeah the chemistry is definitely off the roof between you both so we have two cards that says chemistry come on focus okay there you go we have these two cards that says chemistry and also let your friends help you oh okay so i think that your person is not entirely sure how you see them 
right now okay so i think at this point they really want to know exactly to the t how you see them like how do you really see them as like in this connection like what are we basically so that is for you obviously that's not in a relationship just yet with them now as for some of you if you are already in a relationship with this person basically how they see you right now is their perfect partner you are exactly the one for them and i think that they want to surprise you with a gift or with a date or something they want to surprise you and i think that your person might be asking some of your friends or your family members to plan this out perfectly okay because they want as much information as much advice as possible from the people that obviously know you the most know you the best like your best friends or your family members your siblings or your parents to prepare to orchestrate this huge big surprise that they are preparing for you and i think it has something to do with pop being the question you know you know you know what i mean okay and it might happen later on at a specific special date like your birth day or maybe around like christmas or new year's you know like those specific dates that's what i see so in the extended okay obviously i will be using our infamous sexual tarot deck we just love it love it love it so much and i will also be using my notes over here with very specific direct messages fetish and kings and of course explicitly aiden plus okay so i will be back okay so thank you so much i'm going to end it here and i'm going to continue to the extended so thank you don't forget to like comment down below and share subscribe and click the bell ring so you won't miss anything and follow me on my instagram okay thank you and i see you soon <laughs> next day enjoy a lot of sex they want to so if you're a woman and let's say this is a guy you know they want to do the 69 position okay they want to eat out your lick your with their tongue all out and like sucking on your and edge but facing each other so let's say if he's a guy and you're the girl you're sitting on top of him but you're both like locking each other into like each other embrace and natural that way so you're sitting up you know and facing each other that way on the bed on the couch i don't know just do it whatever you want to do so the card that fell is oh my god the four of wands maybe this position will do as well where you're both are also sitting on the edge of the bed but you're the one that's like facing away and fucking from behind yeah i do see that you know that's one of the things that they really really want to try to do with you hello my amours last but not least welcome to pile number three and this is the picture that you have chosen to make sure you are picking the right pile number three okay so i am going to begin by describing a little bit about your person and you so you can further confirm that this is really for you this pile is for you okay so right away pile number three a lot of y'all are the alternative or alternative <laughs> okay let me just like fix the pronunciation alternative babes okay alternative goth gothic babes out there okay so if you are a goth or you really are into gothic art aesthetic music and so is your person this is definitely your pile so your person is somebody that's obviously into 
alternative rock or heavy metal or death metal type of songs, you know, and the way they look as well. So your person obviously has a love for the dark side, okay? Oh, my dog just, he was just like shaking around, <laughs> if you heard that. So for a lot of you who's watching this, you are probably a witch, okay? You might be practicing some form of witchcraft or love spells, okay? Love magic or manifestations and all of that sort. So both of you and your person might be really into witchcraft or spirituality in general. So yeah, interesting. Okay, so your person is somebody that's very classy and elegant, okay? Or maybe the things that they enjoy, such as movies and books as well, they really appreciate classical literature or dark romance type of books, especially the fantasy ones. So pile number three, you are the twilight pile, okay? So if you're into twilight or any other supernatural romance type of stories, this is definitely for you, okay? You like the human ex-vampire type of trope or, oh, if you really, really are into like books, especially fiction books, maybe a lot of you are such a huge fan of Sarah G. Mass works, okay? I mean, I personally also read her books. I love her books. So if you are into A Court of Thorn and Roses, you know, that series, yeah, this is definitely your pile. You're that book top uh book talk sorry book talk type of girly and this other guy or this other girl that you are asking about i mean your person they are this like really hot and cool mysterious a biker guy or biker girl type of thing or somebody that's kind of like emo or just really into heavy metals you get what i mean so supernatural romance or fantasy romance or classical literature type of thing it's a huge thing okay it's definitely a huge thing for you and or your person i also see a lot of tattoos and piercing so you may have and that's also the same as your person so I also see that you like to wear a lot of jewelries and that's also the same for your person and I do see a lot of silver jewelries and crystals. I see a lot of crystals mm, and Palo Santo and sage as well. So maybe some of you like to cleanse your space with that. I also see a crystal bracelet. Oh, I'm actually wearing one right now and this is handmade by me by the way and it is available on my shop <laughs> just like a short plug in and I also see a crystal pendant okay so that's all that I'm seeing oh and a little bit about physical uh, description I'm seeing that for a lot of you you have dark hair your person also has dark hair or colored hair especially dark blue or red hair color or brunette hair care uh, hair uh, color and also a black okay that's what i'm seeing or maybe platinum okay so now i'm going to pull out one card to describe your person's zodiac sign so let's see what sign your person might be okay so earth signs the four of pentacles taurus capricorn and virgo so pay attention to your person's astrological natal chart as in like the whole thing so this person may have quite a lot of earth elements in their astrology chart okay so this could be either their rising sun moon sign mars Venus, etc so yeah this person is very 
like down to earth type of person okay now we are going to get into the reading and i'm going to show you on the screen right now of all the points we're going to talk about so you know exactly what to expect so we're going to take a look at what is it about you that they find super attractive especially physically what kind of desires you know what i mean that they really like and how do they really see you right now in this present moment, in this connection with you? And as for the extended reading, explicit 18 plus, by the way, we're going to take a look at this person's true intention and feelings for you and some other predictions such as their future action, etc. And we are going to talk about their kings and your king. So this is going to be a fun matchmaking type of reading, specifically in the uh, uh -hum part, okay? And we're going to see about their exact fantasies and sexual desires that they actually really really want to do it with you and what will happen exactly if you both really do the woohoo thing the very next time that you decide to do that so it's going to be full in depth and you know me i always do explicit super juicy and spicy 18 plus reading so if you resonate with this reading and you want to get into the extended video you can click on the link down below that I provide with the timestamp. It's in the description and also in the pinned comments. Okay, you just click on the link. It will take you to my website and there you can purchase the extended reading video. So thank you so much and let us begin. So what is it about you exactly that they find super attractive? Pile number three. Okay, let's take a look at that oh wow the sun this is very beautiful i love it the sun is a major arcana card by the way and it is the most positive card and we have another major arcana which is the hierophant very calming okay nice this is beautiful all right we have the sun and the hierophant so what they find so attractive about you physically the first thing that i'm noticing is the way you dress the way you carry yourself maybe the your makeup or the way that you style your hair and so on so basically it's your whole look okay they find it super attractive and obviously they find you super super beautiful and gorgeous for a lot of you who's watching this especially if you really really are into makeup and you know exactly how to do your eye makeup like your eyeshadow and your eyeliner and you know exactly how to make it look so beautiful and fitting for your eye shape okay i think your person finds it very beautiful and attractive especially if you know how to do that siren's eye type of like smoky makeup oh they love it so much they find your gaze very piercing like it actually pierces into their soul so i think your person is the type of person that actually gets turned on by the idea of you being intimidating <laughs> like you are this intimidating but very very seductively alluring like very dark feminine or femme fatale type of person so that feeling of a bit of danger okay but it's it's like you're sinking them into the depth of the ocean with their seduction that's exactly how they feel when they look into your eyes oh wow interesting okay so the other thing i see especially with these cards so far for a lot of you who's watching you may have really long luscious hair or wavy hair so something about your hair i think they find it really beautiful so pile number three i gotta say if you have a bit of a um, big 
boobies. Okay, especially for the big bobas <laughs> girls out there. Or whenever you are wearing a dress, let's say, that's very elegant, very feminine, very beautiful and sexy. And it does shows just a little bit, just a little bit of your cleavage. Oh my god. <clears throat> Let me tell you. Pile number three, they really find it super sexy. Okay, they actually find it really sexy when you show off your skin just a little bit but not all of it okay because it kind of leaves a bit of imagination you know to their mind so keep them curious okay that's the point pile number three all right so now i'm going to tell you exactly what kind of desires that your person really likes this is like the type of fantasy you can say that they just mm, they love it so pile number three your person has two sides when it comes to the bedroom activity okay they have a side to them where they can pretty much be romantic and kind of vanilla and gentle with you or they can also be the submissive one just very chill and quote and quote normal but let me tell you the other side to them is the 50 shades type of thing and not exactly like actually like the 50 shades of gray book because like let me tell you i love bdsm and bondage i myself okay i love it and let me tell you 50 shades of gray is s h i t okay like 50 shades of gray is so stupid for real but I mean, if you like it, it's okay. I, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. If you like it, I don't judge. It's just that Fifty Shades of Grey is kind of like... Not really the right way to do it. But anyway, you get what I mean, right? So if you're into those type of things... <laughs> Please understand, I'm really trying my best to explain things, but you know, YouTube changed its rules and they're not as friendly as they used to be in the past about certain things, like explicit stuff. So I will do my best to describe while kind of like keep it polite. But pile number three, you basically got the kinky pile. So that quote darker side of your person, Ooh, they are definitely the top, okay? They want to dominate the F out of their mm -hmm, partner. You get what I mean? So, of course, this is all by consent. Remember one thing, consent, okay? Consent, 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 consent is always key. But if you really are into that as well, well, then congrats, pal number three. This is most likely a match. Okay, I will say that this is a match. Your person is not afraid, okay, to test the waters. If you say that you're curious about something or you want to try out something new or maybe you want to try out a new toy, perhaps, they will use it. Best belief, best belief they will use it to a maximum. So this is definitely the whips and chains and ropes and candle and blindfold type of pile okay and let me tell you pile number three if you give all of your consent and all of the specific details that you are okay and you do want that to happen best believe they won't hold back okay so if you really are into the whole thing of getting tied down 
and a bit of like spanking you know here and there and using some type of toys or tools best believe they will use all of it okay again remember consent but they will like okay mm, right away i'll do it like i'll do my best okay so (laughs) just be honest if you really are into those things just be honest with yourself be honest with them it's okay again remember proper detailed communication is necessary it's important okay and don't forget the safe word it's always number one don't forget the safe word but this is the type of person that won't hold back once you give them that permission they won't hold back and dominating the f out of you like if you like it rough if you want it rough you you get what i mean if you're not afraid for a little bit of like oh my god should i say this okay (laughs) if you're not afraid for you know a bit of love marks on your skin a bit of hickeys and bruise you know i'm just saying this is the crazy one pile number three okay this is the crazy pile if you are okay with that if you do like it if this is like f yeah this is my thing Mm. this person will give it all to you okay they're not holding back like i i also have to tell you i think for some of y'all both you might be into a bit of role play not the whole costume type of thing no this is like actual mental role play like for example you're pretending like this lost princess you know in a castle in an old vampire castle gothic castle whatever you are this damsel in distress and you're this lost princess like oh my gosh what am i to do and you are running around in this maze of a castle and you meet this 500 years old vampire prince or whatever and y'all just kind of you know do the thing (laughs) so it's very specific okay pile number three you you and your person have very very specific fantasies i gotta say and those type of fantasies are actual fantasy as in like actual fictional type of mental role play okay like actual thing and i would not be surprised since i told you from the very beginning that y'all are definitely into the whole like supernatural paranormal romance trope type of thing this is like the twilight pile so yeah so oh my gosh i know for a fact that the extended reading will be freaking bomb it is going to be really hot and spicy but it's going to be quite dark i gotta say but very very freaky like freaky fiery crazy hot and spicy freaky crazy type of reading like i just know that so yeah if you resonate again and you wanna enjoy the extended reading video then again you can click on the link down below okay just go ahead and check it out all right so i'm going to pull out some oracle angel romantic angel oracle cards okay and we're going to see how exactly do they see you right now how does this person see you right now Mm, ah i see okay this is specifically for you who's watching this video i think that it's time for you to release the past or release someone from the past 
and basically block, forget, and move on your ex, okay? I'm just saying, I think that it's possible that your person knows that you're probably still kind of like attach with your ex or if you're not if that's not the case then maybe this person knows that you haven't fully for forgotten about your ex okay so we have released your ex we have this could be the one and then we have the death card yeah i already knew it that pile number three is going to be really interesting but also intense and quite dark Okay, so how does your person see you right now? They see you as V1, okay? They do really, really love you. They like you a freaking lot, and they do see you as the one. And they really hope that you are willing to give them a chance by letting go. Come on, camera focus. By letting go your past as in you know like some people or someone from your past because mm, maybe you had a situation or a relationship with someone from the past and you're kind of like still having some unfinished business with the other person and this person the one that we're actually doing this reading for pal number three this person may actually know about that and they're kind of like just waiting i guess and they really hope that you will make up your mind very very soon because they are ready for a form of transformation or okay focus or for some of you pal number three this person could actually be your ex or this person could be a friend with benefits type of thing but it's complicated maybe you actually had a situation in the past with this person the one that we're doing this reading about maybe you had a situation or i don't know some type of issue or argument or drama and this person really wants to have another chance with you basically so that's how they see you right now so in the extended we're going to go further depth into uh, the details you know we're going to get in full depth we're going to see their intention feelings etc blah 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 you know the drill so thank you so much okay i'm going to end it over here don't forget to like share comment down below subscribe and click the the bell ring so you won't miss anything and also follow my instagram for more see you very very sensitive i want to fuck you so good the neighbors will know my name so definitely a lot of growling and moaning and just like screaming each other's name like that oh i feel like you really like it when you are on a missionary fucking position or when you are facing down getting pinned down to the bed like facing down onto your pillow and this guy is like fucking you real hard and deep inside of you from behind of you and he's just kind of like covering you you know like his body weight like he is literally like on top of you like a hunter to its prey and he grabs your hands like lock them between their hands or like just like pull <laughs> like your hair or something and he growls like you know that kind of like really hot sexy type of you know manly growl you know when they're you real good and you know maybe you're into really you're you're really into that type of thing or also into that type of like dirty talk like yeah you like that you f something or yeah you really like that you're just like